Well, the South Dakota women got back on track over the weekend with a couple of runaway wins over Omaha and Denver. Here to talk about that and what's coming next is head coach Don Plitzway. And Don, um, it, it felt like with the g way these games went that maybe you got into your bench a little bit earlier than you had been previously. W was that a matchup thing or was that as much to do with load management as anything? Well, I think it's a little bit of, of both of those scenarios in, in the respect that, you know, we really want to be who we need to be defensively to be the team we want to be as we move forward. And I think for us, you know, that requires a great deal of energy and zip and pop. And, you know, what we saw in practice this week was that we had some young ladies who had really grown and, and it was, they did perform well during the game as well. So of those players that you went to, I mean, some of them are in the regular rotation. Some of them you looked a little bit deeper into the bench for. Who impressed you with what they did this weekend? Well, I think Grace Larkins had a great weekend. She's someone who's played regularly. She plays quite a bit for us off the bench. She's usually our first uh, perimeter kid off the bench. I thought she had a great weekend, is really learning to grow her game. You know, we need to work on keeping her out of foul trouble. She gets a lot of steals, but she gets in foul trouble once in a while doing that. I thought Macy Gieber uh, played really well in both games. I think defensively, she's really come along. You know, she, we want her to be really comfortable offensively hunting shots, and at times she does that, and other times she passes up some of those opportunities, and she needs to she needs to take those. You know, I think Allison Popolski had a really good game on Thursday night against Omaha, and then on Saturday against Denver, Natalie Mazurik had a really good game. And then you've got Janaya, who's playing very solidly, I think, consistently. And so I think they are doing a lot of good things for us. If there was a common theme to the weekend, it was fast starts, first off. Um, you got out to a great lead both in both of those games. But the other thing that stood out, maybe wasn't as exciting for you, was, was the three-point shooting. And it's something that, if you look at it, 8 of 38 on the weekend, 18% now over your last four home games. This is a building that you traditionally shoot extremely well in. What do you make of it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure what to make of it. I do think this weekend we got back to who we wanted to be defensively. You know, and so Omaha scored, I think, at a 27% clip, and, and Denver was at a 37% clip, plus we turned them over. Sometimes it's kind of a risk-reward. If you can hold them down, you don't really create opportunities. We created those opportunities with our defense. You know, is that why? Because it's hard to be really good on both ends of the court. Is that it? I don't really know exactly, but I do believe in our young ladies because when we're shooting out here in, in our practices and our shoot-arounds, we can really make shots. Yeah, I think we're all used to seeing right. a lot of them go in, that's for sure. Um, there was a bit of a hold of your breath moment on Saturday in that fourth quarter. Hannah kind of tweaked an ankle um, and, and got helped off. What's what's that looking like going forward? How's she doing? Yeah, it, so far it seems like she's doing pretty well with it. That uh, that she it was a rolled ankle, you know. But she's someone who had ankle surgery in the off season, and so it was kind of a moment where everyone's like, "Oh no, now right. what?" And so, you know, she also had some. Old lady kind of back was a little bit sore this weekend too, and that happens, tweaked it a little bit. And so, you know, hopefully has an opportunity now to kind of heal back up quickly because this is going to be a tough road trip. Last road trip of the regular season starts Thursday at St. Thomas. Now the Tommies have actually lost nine straight games, including a 70-43 decision here in Vermillion. But two of their three league wins have come at home. And they've lost three other games at home by six points or less. I mean, this is a team that, that gets after it on their floor. Well, they're very disciplined. You know, Ruth Sin and their coaching staff do a tremendous job with their young ladies. And they're they're very aware. They're very solid. They try to take you out of rhythm and on the when they're on defense. And then offensively, they space the floor. And, you know, I thought we saw some of how the, the good looks that they can get against us, you know, in, in terms of spacing it and cutting and making things happen so uh, a team that's a very dangerous team on their home court uh, then on Saturday you head to McComb for round two with Western Illinois that's always a tough trip first and foremost but the Leathernecks have had some tough times they were three and eight at one point but they're just coming off a sweep of the North Dakota schools this past weekend J.D. Gravina certainly found something this past weekend with them well, they're spacing the floor a little bit differently offensively. They are using some more ball screens than they have a little bit in the past. But what they're doing is they're shooting the ball really, really well right now. I think their their drill penetration, score drill penetration kicks are giving them some great looks. I think they hit 15 or 16 arc shots at North Dakota. And so certainly a team that's a very, very dangerous team. On the defensive end, they turn their opponents over. You know, they do a great job of kind of in their man-to-man -man scrambling and, you know, kind of making things, helping from some spots where they make it really uncomfortable comfortable so you know a team that that does make life really tough on you all right well safe travels to you this weekend be safe and uh, we'll see you back here soon sounds good thank you